Hello, my soul lovers. It's Empire333 here with a short love reading. Okay, this is just an impromptu from Spirit. So this is going to be a um, short video. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I will be using the crystal. Well, it's upside down. I will be using the crystal angels. So the links are down below if you're interested and check that out. So Okay, so this is about clear quartz, okay? This is about you, um, this is about you feeling your emotions. A lot of you are denying the emotions you have towards someone because, you know, society's telling you that you shouldn't feel that way or, um, your social media is telling you you shouldn't feel that way. Um, so... The issue here is that you need to feel your emotions in order to process them, okay? Whether they be, you know, it's sadness, it's mad, it's, you know, you're mad, it's anger, it's resentment, it's, you know, rage, whatever it is, you have to process your emotions. And when it comes to this, some of us have really kind of put our emotions, push them aside. Um, so I'm getting scenarios of like, let's say you feel sad or, um, you know, you're in a funk or something like that. And somebody, you know, calls you like a friend calls you or you call a friend and you tell them how you feel. And then they're like, let's go out, you know, that kind of a thing. And then what you do is like, you don't feel your emotions. They become repressed. And then it's like the process of healing is taking you longer. And then you feel like you're wasting time. And you don't, you feel stuck. You feel like you're not moving forward, okay? And this also has a lot to do with what you hear too. So it's like what Spirit is saying. Um, they're giving me an example of like even on this channel, like sometimes people make a comment like, oh, you know, I've been waiting for this person for this long, you know, and somebody will say, you know, they don't love you, you know, if they don't do A, that means they don't love you or whatever, you know, and it's like, don't listen to things like that. Nobody can tell you how your relationship is. There are no two relationships al alike. There's no two loves that are alike, okay? So don't listen to people that um, give their two cents, especially people who don't know you, okay? So here's the thing, guys. The only people that truly know what you feel inside is spirit, okay? Spirit knows how you feel, but it's up to you to process those emotions. So this is saying, you know, let yourself feel all your emotions. Don't deny your emotions. Do not put a Band-Aid on your emotions, okay? Let the wound leave the wound open and let it heal organically. And the way it's organically, it's like day by day. You take each day as it comes, but you let yourself feel. You don't block what you're feeling, okay? Because this card says, you know, your entire rainbow spectrum of feeling is sending you important messages and guidance. So your guides are really with you trying to make you, you know, heal these emotions because it's, for some of you, what I'm getting is that you're frustrated because you're not getting clear guidance. But the reason why you're not getting clear guidance, and that's why it's the clear quartz there, that makes total sense for those of you who use crystals. But it's about, um, Getting the gunk out of the way, okay? Getting the gunk that's in your aura, that's in your energetic field because of all these repressed emotions you haven't been letting yourself feel. Let yourself feel all your emotions. That's what the card's about. And that's what you need to do because um, the longer you go on with repressing emotions, what's going to happen is like you're not going to get clear intuition and that frustrates you then you don't know what to do, then you get confused, then you get paranoid, like, oh no, is this is this really spirit sending me this message, or is it my ego, wishful thinking, you know, you're gonna go into that mode, and that mode, you guys, I've been there, it's, it's not fun, okay, it's not fun, like, it'll kind of, like, you'll feel like you're going crazy, like, you'll be getting messages, and you're just like, what does this mean, does this mean yes, or does this mean no, you know, like, 
<clears throat> it's that kind of thing. So make sure you, you know, feel all your emotions. Okay. Um, your guides really want you to feel at this time. Do not deny what you're feeling. Okay. If you miss someone, it's okay. If you miss someone to pieces, it's okay. Okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. You miss them because you miss them or you miss them because you love them. So what? Who said that you're not supposed to love someone who never hurt you? You know, I mean, who said <laughs> they're Mercury? I swear Mercury's messing with us. Um, they're saying who like said you're not supposed to miss someone or not supposed to love someone just because they hurt you. Who said that? They want to know. So my guys are getting pretty annoyed just to let you all know of all like the garbage that's going around in the comments um not only on my channel on other um just channels like even the motivational speakers or whatever you know um the motivation should be for you to process your emotions in order because there's okay so what they're saying is there's messages that they are conveying to you daily Okay, but because you haven't processed your emotions, there's a block around you. You're not receiving it the way they're sending it to you. Okay, so make sure you clear out all the emotions you're feeling. Not that you're never going to feel anything anymore, guys. It's just about clearing out that gunk. Okay, they call it gunk. Um, because... So what they're giving me an image of like your heart space and they're slowly like, <clears throat> excuse me, I burned so much incense today that it's like, I don't know, <laughs> I feel like I'm smoking. Um, like they're pulling things. Oh, okay. They're telling me that they're pulling thorns from the heart space from you. So some of you might be getting like your heart is like palpitating kind of like you feel like your heart is palpitating, but you don't have a heart condition. Um, like your heart is, you know, like, like beating fast at times. Okay. You could be feeling that, um, they want to help you heal this, but it's like in order to do that, you have to process the emotion. So you got to really feel it. Sit there, cry, cry your eyes out. It's okay, guys. It's it's all a process of healing. So um, that's what they're helping you with. Um, wow. Um, they're showing me thorns. They're showing me like spirit is pulling up thorns in people's hearts. Okay, this is um, this is really good. So, but. Same time, you might be feeling uncomfortable at this time. You might be having anxiety is what they're saying. You might not be able to sleep at night. Um, and this also has to do with your person, okay? So your person might be going through the same thing you're going through. Whenever there's healing on e either person, it doesn't matter. The Your counterpart will always feel it or you'll feel it. So keep that in mind that... Um, in order for them to, you know, pull those thorns out from your heart, okay, and for you to be able to really love openly, obviously, because that's what it does, um, you have to start by feeling all your emotions and focus on that, because a lot of you are focusing on, um, like, other things, kind of like, I should say, Okay, they're calling you remedies, which is fine because remedies are great, okay? Remedies are great. Oh, so they're saying manifestation. So if you're working on magic, okay, um, if you're a practitioner, how, whatever type of practitioner you are, it doesn't matter. If you're working on magic manifestation, you can't only do that. You have to make sure your, your vibration is here, okay? Your vibration has to be at a higher place for you to manifest because if you don't then you'll manifest um the end with the energy you're feeling so if you're feeling like sadness or you're depressed or you're angry or whatever i mean anger is not really like a bad vibration but 
when it comes to stuff being repressed in the heart space, um, you'll manifest it with that energy. You don't want to do that, okay? Because that's not going to give you what you want. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, spirit is wanting to help you really go through like a big healing process at this time of the heart. So let yourself feel all your emotions. Don't let anybody tell you you shouldn't feel a certain way, okay? Everything has to do with timing, right? But for some of you, they're saying that this has been going on way too long. You've been ignoring the healing process, the processing of the emotions, okay, the feelings. You need to like sit down by yourself, put yourself in the room, heal. No like cover-ups, no putting the band-aid on the wound, okay? No more of that, no more band-aids, okay? This has to heal organically and the only way that will happen is if you feel all your emotions, okay? All right, my dears, is there anything else? Let's see. Where did I see that? Oh, some of you are losing sleep. Okay, so some of you need to... Um, Violet, that makes sense. Okay, so this has to do with... Um, the crown chakra so some of you need to do some healing on the crown chakra you could just listen to music possibly some some of you are getting headache like headaches um more often than normal um oh okay and some of you um you could look up healing with the violet flame okay this has to do with violet flame also so that makes sense because the crown chakra is violet. Yeah. Okay, so some of you will find, you know, a lot of progress if you use a violet flame. Okay, so Google that. I know there's a lot of articles out there in the spiritual community about the violet flame. I've used it myself. It's awesome. Okay, so anyhow, you guys, I hope this has helped you in some way. If it has, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Okay, I wish you all the best and I will see you all soon. Take care.